Greetings everyone and welcome back to another installment in the Phone Archive, a series in which I look at weird, strange, stupid and obscure phones from all over the globe for your entertainment. And this is part 10 in the iPhone clone month. Honestly, we are going pretty well. I didn't think I'd be able to cope with this, but we're doing it. And today we are looking at two Psy phones, not just one, we're looking at two. Only because they're not that interesting, unfortunately. They're pretty much exactly the same as one another. They have the same motherboard. The software is basically the same, except one of them has a few games and the other one, well, is just bare bones. So this video is mainly focusing on one, but then I'll have like 10 or something minutes for the other one. I just didn't want to make two separate videos, that's all, because they're exactly the same. And the two we are looking at are these two right here. They are exactly the same. I think the only difference that I could tell is that the earpiece grills are slightly different and then they've got different model numbers. That's pretty much it. Earpiece at the top, as we've said, no sensors at the top, our 3.3 inch, probably 320 by 240 touchscreen, the home button's right there, around the devices, volume buttons in the same place as the previous one I had a look at, at the top, absolutely nothing, at the side, absolutely nothing, and at the bottom, there's no speaker grills. That's because the casing on the previous one had the speaker grills. All of these covers are interchangeable with one another, so I may have mixed them up over the years, and I don't know their original order, so sorry about that. Uh, both these have the 12-pin proprietary Chinese port, as we have known to love, uh, but they will disappear very soon, after the 3G clones anyways. Anyways, the backs of the devices are just here. Uh, the cameras may look a little bit iffy, that's because the covers just literally slide off. The cameras on these should be 0.3 megapixels as they take 640 by 480 shots. On the back of the first one, says that it is just the phone, 32 gigabytes. It is designed by FHQ. FHQ. Can't think of anything for that, okay. Model number is A1241, FCC regulations, all that good stuff, and that's pretty much it. And the other one doesn't have phone, it just says designed by Siphone in China, assembled in China. Model number is A1241, so pretty much the same, and FCC regulations. So that's pretty much it. And if we're going to be going on comparisons as well between the real deal, size-wise, they're pretty much the same. Thickness-wise, they're pretty much the same. The obvious differences between the real deal and the clone is the screen size and hardware and sensors and dock connector and pretty much everything else. So you sort of know what's going on because the previous clone that I had a look at, it's the same dimensions as that. So flipping them over and taking the back covers off. Almost had that in one go then. The first one we're looking at is the Siphone model i9++. This is the 2009 one. In my previous one, I said that it was a 2008 model, but the motherboard said it was made in 2009. But I couldn't figure out a way of distinguishing between that one and this one, so I called one the 2008, and this one's going to be the 2009 one. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but pretty much looks exactly the same as what we've had a look at. The only difference, though, is that the battery is slightly bigger and uses this one, like so. However, this battery lasts about two minutes and then dies, so it's useless. We are using the golden battery that I used in the previous one. However, it doesn't fit, kind of, slightly. So you go ahead and line it up. Once you've done that, you just get a bit of plastic and you just shove it in between that and there. Problem solved. Not gonna go anywhere now. Another ghetto fix by S'mores, well done. And the other one here is the Siphone model i68 plus. There's that i68 plus again. See, I don't know what the number means. If there's some significance that I'm missing, my brain's not thinking properly. So if someone knows, let me know. The sticker is a little bit beaten up. Now, the other sci phones that I want to review in the rest of the 3G series, I've not taken apart. I'm just assuming that the hardware is going to be the same because, like, as you can see, they're exactly the same. Like, the proprietary ports are in the same location. Everything's in the same location. What I'll end up doing is taking the back casings off both of them and just having a look at it there. Just so I don't damage these ones because I don't want to wreck these ones. I wrecked the previous one, but I want to keep these ones as collective pieces, if that makes sense. So anyways, so that one's going to go to the side. This is the one we're going to be using to do most of the review with, with the battery loaded in, a SIM card loaded in, and a 512 megabyte micro SD card. We can go ahead and put one of the random back covers on. Which one should I put on, to be honest? Uh, let's just do that one because it says Siphone. Why not? And it just literally clicks into place, and that's it. You're good to go. Can you see that just there? The psychedelic pattern that's going on the uh, LCD, or the touchscreen, and you press it, and ooh, makes it even more psychedelic. Cool, man. Alrighty, now we have the same issue as the previous clone. How do we power this thing on? You hold the home button. Easy as that.
and we have booted up. Now I'm going to let you all know that this review is going to be pretty boring, to be fairly honest. We've pretty much seen everything that's going on, except this one has a few little apps, and the same as the next one. So there's a couple of things that may be interesting, but I'm just letting you guys know that it's probably not going to be a super fun video, but I will try and make it as interesting as I can. Okay, so here we have the device. So we go ahead and press the button, slide to unlock, yes, it's better than the, uh, the other one opens up. The volume buttons actually change the ringer, as it says. Uh, if you hold the home button, it goes to power it off, slide to power off. The fonts are getting there. I'm still going to say that the Nanyang one was the best iPhone 3G slash 3GS clone that I've had a look at so far. Um, pressing the home button locks it. Nothing special. And as for the user interface, fairly slow, not that responsive. It's pretty much the same operating system as we've seen on the 2G. It's basically that, but with a couple of 3G features to make it seem updated. So going through the pre-installed apps, we have calculator, calendar, calls, camera. Notice the font as well. It's not all bunched up and stuff, so they're doing something good. Uh, we have clock, documents, Java, service, notes, tools, settings, text, phone, SMS, dial, and multimedia, game, profiles. That's the Macintosh. Yeah. Okay, uh, MMS, ebook, Bluetooth, recorder, player, radio, album, music, MSN. Miss you, MSN. Really do miss you. Alarm, world clock, stopwatch, video recorder, chat, compose, picture, mouth, bird, lighter, screen rotation. Okay, starting off the bat with the first page, calculator. Does it look any different? Not really. Looks exactly the same. Calendar, minesweeper. Yep, same minesweeper layout. Calls. This one's kind of in good condition, so maybe this one wasn't used? Well, maybe it was used. I don't know. As I said with the previous one, I don't know if I've factory reset these or not. I have no idea. Let's go with the camera test right now. Why not? Now, both of these devices do have slightly different camera applications, but as far as I could tell when I was holding them side by side, one with a good battery and one with a crappy battery, that's how I know it dies in two minutes, um, I was able to see that the photos pretty much looked exactly the same. So that's why I only done one camera test. Because I think you guys get the idea of what these things can take, honestly. Press the right one here. Goes into settings and stuff. The one thing that I found strange with this is that in camera settings here, there's an option for flash. There's no LED flash on the back there. And when you switch it on, like I did, I went outside, took photos, and the phone just completely crashed. So I have a feeling this is being borrowed off another device, and they forgot to take it out. So yeah, if you have that on and go to take pictures, it just crashes and I lost all the photos and video that I did take, so I had to redo them again. But that's all good. In image settings though, we've got 640 by 480, so 0 0.3 megapixels, and high is the image quality. But otherwise, shutter animation, pretty slow. And then in the video recorder, which is the video recorder, where is it, there you are. It's exactly the same layout, nothing special here. And the video quality is set to high as always. It is 176 by 144, as always. I think we might see a difference when we get to the fives, I think. I think they might be better by then. So what I'll do is splice in the photos and the video that I took with this device, and we shall continue on. Okie dokie, testing video recording on the Cyphone i9++ plus 2009 model. Do we have an upgrade? Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. A little bit more smooth than the previous one. Panning along the brick wall because it's late afternoon, so the sun is directly hitting it. And Stuart is in the shadows. Poor dude. Random flowers, a police siren in the background, the lemons, the ground, all that detail, and no bees today, thank god. Alrighty, in the digital zoom, here it is. This is one time, just wait for it. 
There you go, three times digital zoom. I can sort of see what's going on though. Kind of. I will comment though that the photos look a little bit detailed, if that makes sense. They've got a little bit more detail to them. I mean, they're a little bit blurry, obviously, and the quality's not the greatest, but it's not half bad. I'll give it that. You can go ahead and compare it with the other clones if you want, but just in my honesty, it's not half bad. We have seen worse. Um, it hopefully should get better from here. Hopefully. Uh, in clock, what do we have? The world clock. Ooh, Beijing. Nope, not close. In alarm looks the same. See, these apps are just exactly the same and there's nothing special, but I just want to go through them all just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Uh, document should be the file manager, which says the phone has 761k of internal storage. We're not even hitting the one megabyte mark. We're instead hitting the 761k mark. We don't need to see much here, so I'll go back and we'll continue on. Uh, Java will leave to last, I think. Uh, in service, if we click that, we have all the usual stuff, common website. Oh, okay. So if you had an active SIM, you could connect to all the different sorts of services that are on here. But obviously we can't do that because as you all know, this is 2G only and we can't do much about that. Uh, data account, same as usual. The one thing that's different is the fact that it's detecting whatever's on the SIM card It's coming up with that. I just clicked search contacts on the SIM card and it came up with nothing, but there's the keyboard there. It's so-so. It's reasonable. It looks all right. Can we do anything with it? Obviously, we can type with it. Can never write hello in one go, can I? It's half smooth. Look at that unlock. It's half smooth. Uh, in notes, is there anything in here? Nope. Tools. Unit converter. Weight and length, yep. Currency converter, what JPEG do you have for us? That one, you. Ebook reader, nothing as always. I should put a text file on here and just see what it looks like. Do you want to see text on a screen like this? Nah, not interesting. Bluetooth, uh, has it been paired with anything? No, it hasn't, unfortunately. Let's come into settings, why not? User profiles. Oh, we're gonna check out the ringtones now. All right, cool, let's go. Are they exactly the same though? There's 29 of them, holy moly. Okay, it's different. That sounds like someone put a phone next to a phone and recorded it. All right. Ah, okay. I know where these are from. The quality is just wonderful. Can you even hear that? Oh my god. Listen to this. What the hell have they done to these ringtones? Ah. Yeah, so um, that's what happens. It does a little something like that because I went into the camera settings and enabled flash. Yeah, that's what's happened. So, uh, alright, let's go through it again. Ah, there's the classic. That sounds like a chainsaw. <laughs> My God. Yeah, they sound a little bit dead. Oh. Oh, that's sonar. What even is that? Okay. 
Okay. Is that it? We're done? Okay, well they sounded horrible. We need to put ringtones on this from the real deal, so how are we going to get them? Um, we could just put our cheapest mic next to the actual 3G and record it in like 32 kilobits. And they went, yeah, that's fine. And uh, that's what we've ended up with. Dual SIM settings, the usual, not going to do much here. Pen calibration, touchscreen works, so I don't need to do anything. Phone setup, time of day, the usual stuff. Handwriting is off, but we can switch it on. Uh, UART setup. Okay, something to do with SIM cards. Miscellaneous settings. LCD backlight. Hmm. Pen down vibration. Okay, that's on. G sensor switch wallpaper. Is that on? Now it's on. Okay, I have a feeling I know what that is. So let me do this and we'll go back to the wallpaper and I'll swing this around like a madman. Hopefully it does something. General call settings. What's in more? Okay. Nothing important. Network setup, no Wi-Fi, unfortunately. Security setup, nothing important. Store factory settings and sound effect. Audio effect is, we can change it to normal, bass, dance, classical, treble, party, pop, rock, normal, bass, gun in a loop. Also, have you noticed that the settings menu is sort of, kind of looking like the real deal, sort of, not really? As I always say, they tried. Gotta give them some sort of credit. In text, SMS, can we actually access the inbox? My god, we can. But it's empty though. Is there anything in MMS? No. Broadcast message. Okay. Well, can we do that? Receive mode. Channel settings. Add. Okay, you could do some sort of broadcasting system with the SIM cards. Obviously, it needs an active SIM for it to work. And this is not going to work with 3G, so we can't really test that. Uh, in the phone dialer, does it look... Oh, this is just the phone book. We're not at the dialer yet. SMS, which... Ah, okay. Can I do the handwriting thing? You know what? I was trying to write golf. It's close enough. It's close enough. Uh, dial, does it look... Yeah, it looks half reasonable. Are they cut out? They're a little bit close to the edge of the display, but otherwise, no, they're all good. No dialed calls. Can we see the I'm... Okay. I'm the info. Yes, we can. Took a while, but that's all right. Uh, in multimedia, guess we're doing the speaker test then. Well, we will. So camera we've looked at, image viewer. Let's have a look at this. Have a look at one of the images. Uh, let's look at the frog. Just one of them. There we go. See, it doesn't look half bad, to be honest. Oh, that's right. Yep, accelerometer is built into it. If I shake it around. Oh, yep. Most useless feature ever, but alright, sure, why not? Uh, video recorder, we've had a look at. Video player, we can play back the video that I took on this. Or perhaps not. <laughs> uh, audio player is right here. So let's go ahead and do the speaker test. Oh. How did that change? I didn't do anything. Oh, you just... You just... You move the device and it just... I need to turn that off. Now that I've turned that setting off, which if you just boop the phone, it just changes songs. Uh, we can now start with the only thing they fear is you. Where is it? There it is. And it just plays by itself too. And it sounds bad. And finally, Doomed Hunter. Ah, oh, it sounds god awful. Really, really tinny and horrible.
We got to 102.8, but that is not a good speaker. That is far from it. The previous clone I had a look at, that had a decent speaker. This one, nah, it's rubbish. Uh, back into multimedia, we'll come to sound recorder and record a new... Hey, where's my other ones that I've recorded? Okay, well, I guess we'll just record again. Please recycle. It changes from phone to phone, really. You could barely hear it, but it works. The next one is FM radio, so will this work? Oh, Melody Compose, oh, wonderful. Uh, all right, so let's plug in the earphones and hopefully we can get the FM radio working. Nope, please plug in earphone. As I said, this did work with another clone. And the other ones that I have worked with another clone, but then they didn't work with others. This port is strange. Thank God they got rid of it. Finally, in multimedia, we have Melody Compose. So, uh, it looks exactly the same, except I can't really see what's going on, but let's just insert that. Sounds wonderful. And you can change the instruments, let's see what guitar sounds like. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Okay, well on the next page we have game, so we'll leave that till last. Uh, profiles, which should be the user profiles, which is the ringtones, which we've been through. MMS, which was part of SMS, can't do anything there. Ebook, can't do it. Uh, it's bookshelf again, okay. Bluetooth, we've had a look at. Uh, recorder, sound recorder. Player, self-explanatory. Radio, FM radio. Album is our image viewer. Music is obviously our music player. See, there's a pattern going on here. MSN requires the Java app? Okay, it's the Java version of MSN, which I never used. I never used the Java version of MSN. I only used the one on XP and Vista as well. Good memories of MSN or Windows Live Messenger as I used. Then we have Alarm, which looks the same. And then World Clock. They're all just the shortcuts, pretty much. Video recorder, chat, what's chat? Oh, the chat room, yep, okay. Uh, compose, picture. Beautiful pictures. Oh, is this some sort of editor or something like that? Hang on. Let's try. Let's see. It's going to be a photo editor, I can imagine. Well, I've selected the memory card, so why you know come up? I'll try the phone memory. Does that do anything different? Okay, don't know what's going on there then. The beautiful pictures. It's lovely. And then the rest are pretty much games. See what I mean? This one and the next one, they're not really that special. They're pretty basic. It's just these games I want to showcase off pretty much for this whole thing. And I get to kill two birds with one stone and get these two done. Because I really want to move on from the 3Gs and move on to the 4s. I've only got three iPhone 4 clones, but they're a little bit more interesting than these ones. All right, well, let's head straight into the games then. If Magic Sushi is not on here, there's going to be some pretty pissed off people in the comments. I know that. So let's go Java. Install Java software. EMSN and QQ. Well, obviously, QQ is not going to work, and I know what QQ is. People don't need to tell me. I know it's an instant messaging service in China. I know that. At least it shows the penguin and login details. GPS bearer is not available. Do you want to switch to CSD? Yes. I'm sure they've done something, but obviously we can't use it. The Java program is using critical resources that cannot be paused. Do you want to terminate the program? Yes, because you're using up the uh, 32 megs of RAM we have in this thing. Well... That's a guess anyways. Uh, EMSM we've already checked out, so we'll come back and Java setting, Java audio, yep, okay. So if we go back to games, ooh, ski peg, pu-pu-plong, gold mine, astro flutter, dumpy drops. <laughs> yeah, all right, magic sushi and game settings, all right, skip peg. Oh, pu-plong? Oh, I have a SIM card in. Gold mine. Yes. Holy moly. Gold minder. Level objective. 400. Great. What am I doing? Uh. Oh, you just... Are you for real? Yeah, I'm not really good at using claw machines. Uh, let me try that again. Wait. Just do that. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Picked up the rock. That's it. Oh, here we go. Got it. Nice. we got to win this. Hang on. We've got to complete this game. 
Time over. Level not clear. I love the option is just out. What's about? There is a monthly fee associated with the game. Thank you for playing. Out. All right. Well, Astro Flighter. Oh. Is this going to be like... Oh. Oh. Actually. Actually. One of the games I do enjoy. Touchscreen is... Well... Usable. It was working. Hang on. There we go. You just grab the ship and drag him around. Well, this isn't half bad. Oh, bosses. Wait. Wait. Got it. Okay, the touchscreen is a little bit iffy. Oh my god, how many projectiles do you want to throw at me? Jesus. I don't know how I managed to survive that. Hang on. There we go. I'm still going. Oh, got hit. There we go. Reasonable. If the touchscreen was just a little bit better, that's an enjoyable game. I I do like these sorts of games. So, yeah. Uh, okay, and out. Out. What's about, say, monthly fee? Yeah. Uh, dumpy drops. <laughs> Can't help but giggle at that. Oh. <laughs> what kind of a main menu is that? <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, start. I, oh. Oh, okay. Mate, go. G go, buddy. Go. Okay. You gotta touch the screen as fast as you can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's gotta land. Here we go. Oh, he's, he's bouncing around. This is hectic action. He did. That was a very interesting game monthly fee. Ha, huh, good luck charging me for that. Uh, magic Sushi, go on. Go on, Magic. I am very sorry about that. It scared me as well. Well, that's it for Java. Shall we move on? To game. Oh, shall we move on? To the last couple of apps here. Alright, go on. What is mouth? Ah, spooky. You want to say that again? It's also Homer's scream as well, but okay. Ah, uh, bird. Get off my screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, come back. No, okay, so you got to click the birds. Hang on, stop. Oh, okay, no, you just leave it. And they destroy your screen. Let them destroy it. I can wait. Go on. Do your worst. Die, you little bastards. There we go. Oh, you just clear it like that. That was fun. Shall we try a lighter? Oh, yeah. Suave. See? Doing that does not light it. Oh, there you go. It's light now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't move, it doesn't sway. You just... That way. That way. And that way. Cool, man. Screen rotation. He's looking happy. Go on. What's... I'm just nodding my head at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that one done. There were some funny games on here. That lasted five minutes. Uh, but at least you know what's going on now. Shall we move on to the next one? Let me power this off. Because we've looked at everything. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Did I scaredly dare you? All right, switch it off. Slide to power off. done. Okay. Interesting power off sound. Okay. Well, let's swap memory cards and batteries to the next one and have a look at that. All right, swapping to the next one. Let's go ahead and power this one on. 
This one says Siphone. Flower. Pretty. And we boot it up. So we can slide to unlock. Look, it's kind of looking a little bit more legit. The OS is slightly different, ever so slightly. The fonts are a little bit different, it's a little bit more spaced out, but I'm fairly sure they run the same hardware. So the next one has text, game, calls, camera, calculator, tools, settings, documents, album, alarm, service, Java, phone, SMS, style, multimedia. The next page has video recorder, calendar, compose, recorder, player, radio, notes, music, profiles, MMS, ebook, Bluetooth, world clock, clock, stopwatch, and chat. That's it. I picked the wrong one to start off with. That's all right. That doesn't matter because this is just a bit of a bonus anyways. Um, well, let's just go into game. The only game in here is Magic Sushi. That's it. Opening the camera on this one, though. See, it's a little bit different. You've got a slider just up here. Tap down here to go to options. You go to camera settings. And LED highlight is there. This doesn't crash the phone. But flash on the other one did. Image settings, 640 by 480. As I said, they're exactly the same. It's just that the camera app looks a little bit different. In tools, do we have anything different? Has it been paired with anything in Bluetooth? It has. A Siphone i68. Someone may have bought a couple of them. Uh, documents, what does it say? 761k, same thing. Uh, in Java, what about games? Just Magic Sushi, that's it. Sad, really. Multimedia, uh, pretty much the same. I will just quickly play one of the tracks. If it's gonna... Hang on. You just came up. Okay. Maybe it's not going to work then. Okay. Well, I was going to play some audio, but that doesn't seem to want to work now. Does FM radio work? Like in the earphones? Nope. Same thing. Don't know what's going on with that one. Profiles. Let's see if uh, these are any different. No, I believe the speakers are exactly the same. You get the idea of what's going on. Hell. Yeah, we've heard all these ones before. Uh, that's pretty much it, isn't it? There's really nothing much going on with this one. What about the wallpapers? Just as a different thing. Well, there's settings. It looks a little bit different. Uh, display characteristic. Wallpaper. System. Oh, that's different. Oh, we know that one. The rocks. Yep. Oh, a rose. Fishies. Flower. Butterfly. And the earth. Let's just set that. Sorry for this really janky edit. I'm just looking at the pictures on the second one, and then I realized that I didn't look at the wallpapers on the first one, so I'm going to just go through them now. So the first one is earth. Second one is this flower, three is the fishies, four is the uh, green leaf, five is the butterfly, six is this purple flower, seven is the rocks, eight is this doll, I guess, nine is some elephants, and ten is the yellow flower rose thing. So there you go. But otherwise, settings doesn't really have much else in it. It's all just the usual stuff. So what I've done is accidentally mixed them up. I don't know how I've done it, but... I was meant to show off the one with games last instead of show it. And it doesn't matter. You get the picture of what's going on. As I said, this is a pretty boring video. These phones are nothing special. And the speakers are crap. The cameras are so-so. The OSs are pretty outdated. I still keep thinking back to the Nanyang one and going, that's the best 3G clone I had a look at. Or 3G slash 3GS clone I had a look at. These Psy phones are pretty rubbish. But when we had 2G working back in the day... Could have used these. Would have been alright, just for calls and texts and a couple of snaps here and there and some music and stuff, but that proprietary port, man, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. So, conclusion with these ones, pretty rubbish. Let's go ahead and just tear them both down to see if there's anything going on inside of them, but otherwise, just power it off, slide to power off. I don't know if you can see the top there is the LEDs from the display. Just shining down, there's five of them just... Sl Oh, 
shining down on the display. Okay. Alrighty, we'll take them apart now. Okay, both the devices here. I just noticed that the sticker on this one says 2010. The sticker for this one, is it a bird? Or is it the um, golden snitch from Harry Potter? You decide. As with the previous clone, the only things that are holding this plastic frame down is two screws. So we'll go ahead and remove both of them. Or four of them. Breaking through the warranty seal, oh no. So I've noticed what I missed on the previous one. There's these little clips just here. I didn't see them on the previous clone and that's why I just snapped them straight off. All right, must be careful. Okay, there is a difference. There's an antenna cover, but nothing else in the back plastic or plane. All right, let me take the next one off. So the frame broke in several places. I didn't even see the cracks on them. As I took it off, it just snapped right where the screws go as well. Oh, well. that's fine. Right there, side by side. If you can see any differences, let me know. But I can see every... Oh, no, no. There's actually some differences regarding here. So let me show you just here. There you go. Get a good look at that. And I'll show you this one. There's a couple of things missing. That's the... I9++ and that's the I68+. Plus. And then flipping up these bits. Oh, this one's stuck down. Oh, okay. All right, so we've got different cameras on here. They got a little just wire just hanging there. Some clones just have this, just a little bit of wire. The motherboard codes is version 1.3 for the I9++. Plus plus plus. The I68 plus one has a code just up there, but the camera codes are quite different. That's for that one. And that's for that one there. So maybe there is something different with these motherboards. They look the same, but there's just slight differences. I may be able to disassemble this without killing it. If we open it up, like a book, like so, and then we grab the LCD and we just flip it up. There we go. Ever so careful. There's the code for the LCD just there. It is an XR TFT 32 QV-1. And we also have the code just there. If anyone wants to pause that and have a squiz at that, feel free. So I'm pretty sure that is all the main details that we need to know. I do want to take off this shielding though, but if I do, then I won't be able to put the home button back into place. So is it really worth continuing? I've got this far with disassembly. I don't want to push my luck. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Or well, this one anyways. Oh, that was, that was a bit brutal. All right, so I put that to the side and we'll go with this one. This one has the uh, just piece soldered there that they forgot to take the tape off. That's okay. Flip the LCD up, revealing a couple of different codes. Now that one there, and we've got the sticker just down here, which there is something going on there. It's really hard to see what it says. 2501G underscore 0B underscore S99 underscore all underscore V1 underscore 3R underscore 100528. Doesn't the aspect of just seeing that look pretty brutal? All right, well, it all fits back together. I'm just going to have a guess here and say that they're both running the MediaTek MT6225A CPU with 32 megs of onboard storage. That's just my guess anyways. I really don't want to take the shielding off there because of not having a place for the home button, that's all. And I've already destroyed one of them. But I think you get the idea of what's going on inside of these devices. So I'll go ahead, put them back together, see if they work, show the specs and call this a video, I think. Which one had the good plastic and which one had the bad plastic? Um, which one doesn't matter? <laughs> That's fine. Work it out. First one. Yep, still works. The second one. Still works. Seems good. Okay, well, if you want to pause the video and read the guesstimate specs of these devices, you might want to do so just here. As I said, it's a guesstimate, 
but I have a feeling it would be the MT6225A CPU and just a 32 megabyte flash module. It'll be probably from Toshiba or Samsung. Uh, could be another manufacturer, who knows. But really, I expect them to be the same specs as the previous clone that I looked at. It's just that they have a different battery and different model numbers, and that's really it, to be fairly honest. So, yeah, that's these two done in one video. I'm sorry it wasn't really that entertaining to have a look at these ones. After these two, there's one more Siphone, and then I've got two faulty ones, which I want to have a look at in a sort of quick video and see if I can get them working again. Uh, but then after that, we'll be going on to the iPhone 4s, which I've got three of them. Then we've got two iPhone 5s, an iPhone 6, an iPhone 6S, two iPhone 7s, and an iPhone 7 Plus, and then we are completely done with the series. But as for these two, I can't really say much more about these. The Siphones are pretty budget, pretty bare bones, nothing special going on, so you're going to see pretty much the same things for the next video, which will be out in a couple of days or so. But anyways, I hope you got some sort of entertainment out of this. I'm not really happy with how this video went because it's just very boring. There was nothing very standout on these. So I'm hoping that the next one I have a look at, which does have some pre-installed games, will be a little bit more entertaining to have a look at. And then the last two, which are faulty, we'll just have a little bit of a repair session, see if we can get them working. And then the rest of them after that should get more interesting hopefully. But I also apologize for not tearing them down 100%. I just didn't want to rip that shielding off and not sort of have it back there because of the home buttons. I just want to keep these as they are. That might tick some people off, but you know, it is what it is. That's it. This is part 10 of the iPhone clone month and another installment in the phone archive done. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. As always, take care, be good people, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one, which will be the final working Siphone before we move on to the faulty ones and move on to the iPhone 4s. We're getting there. We are getting there. All right, guys. Take care. See you next time. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.